All right, hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to pair one of these Chinese uh, cheap smartwatches with your newer phone. For instance, the software they suggested does not actually support uh, the later version of Android. This is the Android 5.0 Cyanogen mod, so it's probably the hardest thing to possibly get an app to work with uh, versus the stock software. So if it works on this, it pretty much should work on anything that actually supports connecting to this watch at all. So alright, let's get started. The first thing you'll need is, of course, this app. It works way better than any of the other software I've tried so far. I tried pretty much every suggestion on XDA, then finally someone suggested this. If I remember their name, I'll put it in the description, or an annotation. Yeah, definitely annotation. Um, there's a longer version of this video in the description, which I recorded first. That will help you if you run into any more problems. But anyway, let's just jump into this. Um, right now I have officially unpaired this with this. So neither of them are paired to each other, so this should be a full setup. Again, if you have any other problems, check my video in the description. It's going to be uh, unlisted. Alright, so first thing you want to do is install this app. Second thing you want to do is, let me just go ahead and clear the data from it so we can have a fresh start. Clear data, because I was using this in my first video too. Alright, clear cache. Clear data. Force stop. All right, so go ahead and launch the app first. It should come up with a screen like this. Uh, yep, it says SMP for the mode. That's good. And all you have to do is have your watch on in, in any screen, pretty much. So here we go. Here's the watch. Here's this. Tap a little icon in the middle. It should show up your watch. For me, it's U80. All right. Turn up the volume a little bit so you can hear me better. Alright, so go ahead and click on the name, U80 or whatever it is for you. It will probably also show up your Bluetooth speakers too, so be careful. Make sure it's the right device. Alright, it will give you a pairing thing on both of them. Go ahead and click yes here. And pair here. And then it will ask you if you want to open a serial port connection. That's very important, so say yes on the watch. And so they have serial port connected. And your watch will probably be stuck at this screen where it just says connecting. Uh, that's not a problem. All you have to do on the smartwatch is click Bluetooth. Then you'll find your phone. Click on the phone name and then click disconnect. It'll say disconnecting. And it may get stuck at this screen. Not a problem. If it does, there's another way to do this. Alright, looks like we got stuck at that screen. If it didn't, you can skip this next step. But since it did for us, we'll have to do this manually. What you have to do is toggle off Bluetooth, but you have to do it slowly. You can't just toggle it off and then turn it back on. So hit Bluetooth once, and you'll say Bluetooth just turned off. And now we have to wait for the watch to start spawning. Let's just turn off the screen. Yeah, you press the power button, it takes you back to this menu. All right, so now we turn Bluetooth back on. Wait a few seconds. It'll take a little while. Bluetooth is back on. So now we go back to Smartware. Oh yeah, and if I didn't mention it before, Smartware will first time it will tell you that you have to enable it in accessibility. There will be a pop-up before you can even press that button. I forgot to mention that, sorry. Um, just go ahead and click OK. And it will take you to a screen that looks like this. If you're on a Cyanogen mod, let me get there. Settings. It will take you to the Accessibilities window. And in it, all you really have to do is... Oh, I can't find it today. All you have to do is just find where it lists smartware. Yours may look a little bit different, but it will show a list of like services as you can see here. And one of them, for me right there, is called smartware. All you have to do is just click on it once and it will bring you up to where the screen looks like this with a little checkbox at the top or a switch thing. Check it and it will say like, yeah, it wants to observe your actions and stuff. That's for notifications. Go ahead and click OK. Then you'll be here. All right, next thing you want to do is go back to the app. Smartware. All right, sorry about the reflections. All right, now that we're back here, go ahead and click the picture of the watch again, which is right there. It'll take you to a list. Click that. It will have the name of your Bluetooth watch. Make sure all your other Bluetooth stuff's off if you don't want it to show up those two. All right, and then it'll be stuck at this connecting screen. Now what you want to do is go over to your watch, click the Bluetooth icon, click on your phone, click connect. And it'll say smart watch. It might say smart watch has crashed. It's not a big deal. It happens usually the first time when you set it up. All right. When you bring it back up, it'll still be stuck at the connecting screen. 
and it will say, give you the serial port thing again. So we'll go ahead and say yes. Serial port connected. You can't actually read that because the screen's terrible with reflections. All right. And now on this one, it still says connecting for me, even though we are actually connected. But if you look at this um, notification, it will say smartwatch connected. So even though it gave me an error, uh, it still says we're connected. So we're going to hit back a few times on the watch. And we're going to try something out. Let's try to read text messages. So, you know, you just press menu. You go to messages, inbox. It says BT notify app. That means it's not actually fully connected. That is not a problem. We just go back to here. And since it thinks it's connected but it's not transmitting any data, that means we just have to restart the device real quick. Not a problem. Let's just go ahead and power it off. And click reboot. It'll say disconnected here. Just wait for it to go through the reboot. All right, now we'll probably say connecting over here on this screen. Go ahead and slide this up. The smartware, smartware has crashed, but it also says smart device connected. So you go back to here, it should say SMP. Click the watch, Click the name of the watch. You'll be taken back to this screen. And on the watch, just keep pressing back. It'll say, like, you don't have, it, yeah, you have to go back to the main screen. Click Bluetooth. Find your device, just repeat this step. Now we're disconnecting. Now we're connecting. And it's connected. See how you have that orange light? If it doesn't work, you can try toggling off Bluetooth on here, but it should work after that. What you'll do is you'll turn off Bluetooth on here and then wait a few seconds to turn it back on. Then try to connect from here again, because connecting from the watch seems to give me the best performance. All right, and then once you actually get connected, it should stay until the screen gets out of range. Then you may have a little bit of problems just reconnecting, but this is, this app has been the most stable I've tried so far out of any of them. So let's just go ahead and try it out. There's the camera thing right there. Let's go ahead and click this. Unfortunately, this version of the camera doesn't actually give you a viewfinder, which is kind of annoying. But I mean, the viewfinder was super laggy anyway. You couldn't really tell what was going on. And I'd rather have a stable app than one that just gives me a little viewfinder on my wrist, which was pretty cool. Yeah, but you can still snap pictures. There's still a capture button there, so that's pretty good. Um, Bluetooth music works. Go ahead and hear it. Click Bluetooth music. Press play. And it will actually play. You can see the name of the song there. And it's playing the music. I don't want to get copyright strikes, so I'll pause that. It was actually playing it through the watch speaker, of course. And the name shows up of the song, so that's pretty cool, too. But yeah, that's pretty much the easiest way I can think of to actually get it up and running and notifications works as you can see right here I have a notification telling me that my, my music player is playing music so one important thing and of course yeah that's an actual notification for my phone uh, one important thing you want to take keep in mind is go to notifications and you can turn off notifications for specific apps that's great for if an app is spamming you for instance, like uh, I think my alarm clock will constantly post updates on how long it is till my next alarm goes off. Or um, if you're using Titanium Backup, it will show you for every single app. So you can block them here by just simply sliding this thing over, especially like SmartWatch. Turn off SmartWatch. Why would it, you want to know when your SmartWatch is connected if you're already using your SmartWatch? <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it was helpful. Again, the next, the original one's a little bit more comprehensive, but also a little bit more, you know, it's stazzy, I guess. But it may help you out if you're running into a different issue. Uh, if you have any other problems connecting, it's pretty easy. Just connect, say connect on your phone. It'll be stuck in connecting. Then connect with Bluetooth on here. If that doesn't work, just toggle Bluetooth off and on on here. Worst case scenario, you can try a reboot. But this works way better than anything else I've tried. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you are able to enjoy your watch. My review for this will be out sometime tomorrow. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.